today is Saturday, it's Saturday morning and um, I put a little live video up on Facebook earlier and let everyone know that I was going to be making some window boxes because I got the compost for the window boxes. No, I can't use my homemade stuff because I don't want other things coming up in the window box. Um, so I've got the compost and I've got the little plug plants and I thought I had some of the uh, window boxes left from years ago but I've had a look and they're not any good so I am making some wooden window boxes that's the word that I'm using I've had this stored here in the barn for ages so how long is a piece of string well that's my measurements you see I've got string. That's for the length and that's for the depth. There we go. Very professional, don't you think? But I'll get there in the end. So this is the first of a series of little clips just to show you what I'm doing and hopefully the perfect end result. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be the front of the window box and what I've done because I'm going to jigsaw these little shapes out, you see. Make it look a little bit pretty. Now, it's not perfect, but I don't do perfect. So, I've used this old flat iron as a little template, see? And just drawn around it. There we go. So, I'm going to be cutting that out now. Now, you can see how I'm cutting it out. It's very simple. Very imperfect, but this is an old cottage and I don't do perfect. <laughs> so it's a fairly simple job with this little jigsaw. Now that's the same jigsaw that I use for cutting up all my wood. So it's, it's a good old multitasker. So I'm about a third of the way through. So I'll, I'll let you see the finished bit in a few minutes. So now I've got the front bit finished and I have one of the sides on so it'll stand up anyway at the moment. Now what I've done is I've used these little tacks here, these little tacks, and I've just tacked it on. So I've put on one, two, three tacks. I put the first screw in there. I'll put another one in down here when I'm finished. So I'm just about to cut out the second the second side so I can, you can see I've just marked it off here so I can follow it easy enough with the jigsaw so far so good okay so I've got the window box tacked into place I've got one screw in it so far so that's it tacked into place and I'm just fitting it on the windowsill to see how it goes um, I've made a few mistakes because it's actually come out a little bit further than what I wanted it, but it's not a it's not a problem. Um, the back is a wee bit kind of rough, so I'm going to just sort of um, tidy that up. And I have yet to put a bottom into it. You can see there it's just sitting on the windowsill. So when the bottom is on it, it's going to raise it up a little bit. So. I'm pretty pleased with that so far. I mean, I didn't, I didn't sit down and plan it or anything like that, as is my <laughs> my way. I never sit and plan things, you know. Um, so I shall go now and tidy up the back of it, put the screws in and put the bottom on, and then start to fill it. What I will probably do when it starts to warm up here in the spring is um, give it a coat of I think I think give it a coat of wood preservative it's actually gone this beautiful shade of green that wood because it was sitting out for quite some time and I think there was a preservative in it anyway I'm not too sure but anyway yeah pleased with that so far so now I have it finished <laughs> but I think I'm going to um, give it a coat of wood preservative now because of all the sort of raw edges on it. And you can see I've um, 
made use of all the little offcuts at the bottom there. I'll just show you. There we go. So, and that's the back. I've smoothed it off a little bit now. It was a little bit uneven. It's still a little bit uneven, but not that noticeable. Um, let me just turn it around the front here. Oh, it's quite heavy. Which is what I want, because of course we do get storms around here. And uh, it's good to have something that's substantial. So there we go. You can see the back's a little bit uneven, but by the time the plants come up in it, you know it's not going to show. Oh, there's a little there's a little spider in there. Let me see if I can get him out or get her out. Come on, come on board this pencil. She says, not likely, not likely, no. Um, I'll get her out in a wee moment. So, um, yeah. So I'll give it a coat of wood preservative now, let it dry out, and then I'll show you, and then I'll plant it, and then I'll show you again. I'm pleased so far. So I've just started to um, paint it. This is a, a proper weather weather coat uh, thing. What's it called now? Um, I think the colour is sage, and it is, let me just turn this can around. And then you'll be able to see. Here we go. Ron Seal. <laughs> so I had to go into town to get that because I thought I had some here, but I gave it to my daughter some weeks ago. So I'm going to finish painting this, let it dry, and then I'm going to take it round the front and start to fill it. So this is the finished window box. Um, I've learned quite a few things from actually making this. So the other two, which I'm going to be making for the uh, kitchen window and the sitting room window at the front of the cottage, I'm going to do just slightly differently. And you'll see as I do them. But um, I've got the compost now, it's all ready. But I've just treated the wood with the wood preservative, that um, Ron Seal. So that's drying, so I'm going to leave this now until tomorrow morning and then I'm going to fill the window box and I'm going to put the plants in. So I'm very happy with that, um, even with all the imperfections. Yeah, and now I'm looking up at this barge board and I'm thinking, I wonder if I could do that myself. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll just pull back a little bit now and have a look at it from a distance. Oh yeah, that does look rather lovely. It really does. Yeah. Now I'm just imagining geraniums in there during the summer. So um, what I put in there now will do February, March, April. And then I'll replant it again in May with geraniums. But I shall leave the ivy in because the ivy should sort of grow and sort of tumble out of it rather nicely. And I think the shape, the little shape that I jigsawed out, that little kind of gothic shape, um, is picking up on the shape of the crochet lace in the door. So, what do you think? Hmm? Oh, Jack. Oh, no, I'm very glad that I lit the stove because it's quite cold out there now and uh, it's 20 to 5 so it's still light but it's it's um, a slightly duller light so anyway I'm glad I've lit the stove I'm going to sit down well I'm going to make a cup of tea then I'm going to sit down and put my feet up because I do feel that I've worked quite hard today and you know the interesting thing is when I started making, um, let me just sit down here on the corner of the sofa. When I started making the window box, um, can't even remember what time it was. It was past midday in a way. Um, but I thought to myself, oh, I'll be able to get at least two made today. 
but that one has taken me well it hasn't taken me all day because I did have to stop and drive into town and buy the wood preservative so that's about an hour an hour and a bit you know but it took me I suppose about three hours in total from beginning to end so tomorrow I'll get that one filled and then I'll start work on the second one which which will be for this window here um, and I should get that done tomorrow without too many problems because um, I don't have to think too much about how to do it I can just crack on with it but you know one of my favourite sayings and I, I, I keep repeating this and it's a very valuable a very valuable piece of wisdom to have in your life in a time of destruction create something and I feel really buoyed up buoyed up by having created that window box and yes I could have gone into town and bought some plastic ones it wouldn't have sat well with me. The fact that I've made it from wood, I know that in the course of time that will go back into the earth. That feels good. And of course I've got unique window boxes. I don't think anyone else is going to have window boxes like those. So I'll finish this video off tomorrow when I've put the compost and the, and the flowers and the plants into the window box and I'll show you the finished the finished thing doesn't that fire look toasty So this is Saturday and um, I finally got the window box filled but look, look what I've been doing. I've been clearing up lots and lots of moss. Now the moss grows very rapidly here in the west of Ireland because of the, the warmish damp climate and you can see the moss all over the stones everywhere and all over the gravel. And I was thinking, you know, I keep reading about um, sphagnum moss. Now this is sphagnum moss. Um, I keep reading about it being uh, not allowed to be harvested and um, it's given the thumbs down by environmentalists, you know, don't use it. And I was thinking, couldn't Ireland export this stuff? <laughs> because... There's so much of it. Look, I've just raked up this big pile here, just from the gravel alone. Anyway, so <clears throat> getting on to the window box, which is over there now, and filled, and I'll show you that shortly. As I was doing the window box, I thought, okay, I need to cut back some of the shrubs here. So I've got a beautiful quince growing there. So I've given that a trim. I've got the lovely pheasant berry bush, which I think is called Lecestria Formosa. I've given that a trim. I need to trim the box there, and I'm going to be moving those tyres, I think, because I have a plan to put ferns in this corner. And I've also trimmed that Lecestria Formosa. But what I'm going to do now is just show you the window box, because I'm delighted with it. So here we go. I've put pansies, now they're all a bit small at the moment, but they're going to be peeking out over the top there very shortly. So I've put in two variegated ivies, two polyanthus, some tete tete, I'll just come closer, some tete tete daffodils, they're the little ones, and uh, then some various um, winter flowering pansies, which of course are going to make a beautiful show of themselves. Now I've put equal amounts down this end but you can't see them. 
but you will over the coming weeks. So I'll just pull back and uh, show you. Now I've got the wheelbarrow around there and I have my little my little stool, my little kind of box that keeps various tools in it, you know, and that's what I stand on. That just gives me enough height to get into things. So I'll just pull back here and show you the window box. Now, how do you think that looks? I think success. So I'm very pleased with it. And of course it's going to look beautiful as well from inside, from in the bedroom. It's going to be very cheerful and joyful to look out at first thing in the morning. Now I'll just pop this um, moss down. And then I think at this point I'll load up this video. Let me just throw it down here on this little heap. That, by the way, is a fantastic rake for raking moss up. You can also see where the birds have been in there, look on the log. Because as the log starts to disintegrate and rot down, the birds go in and they, they, they kind of peck away at it to get the little insects out. Now, these are my little plants, which uh, I think most of them are going to be ready now for planting out. So I've got the birch there, and I've got the um, the uh, um, cultivated St John's wort. Uh, I'll think of the name in a moment. I've got quite a lot of that because I'm forever pulling out little bits from the gravel driveway that have seeded, and then potting them up, and um, that makes a beautiful shrub. In fact. Can you see the shrub in there behind the the miniature pine, the bonsai pine? There's another very healthy looking, oh look at this, that does need planting out now. This is a little birch tree, and again ready for planting out. So I'm going to continue with my planting, of course when it comes to pot grown trees and shrubs. You can plant them at any time of the year. You're not restricted just to the winter or in you know, the autumn and the winter. So there we go. Very pleased with that. So I'm going to crack on now and get another window box made and uh, I should get another one made today. Probably plant it up tomorrow. And um, then a third one done on Monday, hopefully. A little bit of stormy weather. It's got very cold here. Very, very cold. Now the wind has settled down at the moment, but it's coming in great big swathes of sort of chaos, which is quite energising because you can harness that energy. And I put lots of food out in the little bird tables. One over there and uh, the one up there. And the morrigan was down. Oh, the most beautiful, beautiful, ginormous morrigan crow came down. And uh, she was a little bit shy at first because when I came out she flew off. But then, when I came out the second time, she just looked at me and was quite casual. Oh, there's one of the blackbirds. So there's a lot of feeding around that bird table. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's little birds even hopping across the field there at the back. Ah, there's the wind coming through again. I think we're going to have freezing temperatures, apparently, from what I've been told. And we're going to have some snow. So, hmm, good thing I lit the stove. Right, 
Blessings to you all and I'll go in and try to get this video uploaded.